Hello, Peter Howell, Six Hour. Uh, you're in our booth here at TrickyCon. So, uh, kind of asked to kind of go through some of our AR platforms. We have multiple kind of variants that you can choose from. You have an M400 up here, uh, which is kind of the standard kind of norm in the industry. We've got things a little bit different in ours. Discussions, uh, ambi trigger, our ambi safeties on either side here. Awesome little trigger on top of this thing here. Um, Optics wise, you know, we have a whole gamut now of optics you can play, play with. We have a uh, Tango 4, which is what you see right here, a 1 to 4. Uh, you can do our 4 to 16s as well. Um, or if you want to, you can roll out with a, like a red dot system and a magnifier behind that. Our red dots are quite awesome. We got Romeo 5s, which kind of run the market right now. Our Romeo 4s, which are on this one right here. You can marry it up with a Juliet um, and get a little magnification to go out a little bit further. This is our 516 right here, 223 or 556. Um, kind of same thing as far as Ambies go, it's standard kind of AR platform. Um, Ambi controls, discussions, uh, patrol model up there. Uh, move back and forth on your uh, rear adjustment plate there. This is our Juliet 6 on top of this one, which will flop out and kind of play with things a little bit. Do whatever you want. We do these in uh, a Juliet 3, a Juliet 4, and a Juliet 6. It comes with three different plates so you can raise and lower your uh, optic to kind of marry up to where you need to go with it. This is a real Mio 4H right here. Four different reticle ops you can kind of choose from and kind of play it that way. Awesome little red dot. Down here we have our 762, uh, and that's in a, a 716 uh, DMR. This has got a two stage gas system up here. So you can kind of change and go with how you want to do it. Um, monolithic uh, Foran. Uh, our match uh, SIG Duo State trigger on this one as well. This is topped with our SIG BDX, which is our ballistic day chain. So you can pretty much range anything you want with your range finder with your firing solutions. Range it. The BDX uh, will give you um, the distances and how you do it with the profile you put into it. It'll give you your firing solutions. It'll also send it to your scope so it'll illuminate your hole for you so you don't have to do any dialing with your turrets or anything like that. Awesome little system. This thing's really uh, taken off for us. It actually won the uh, Golden Trigger Award here last year at TriggerCon. So this is our DMR 716. This comes in the five five or six five Creedmoor, and then as well as the 308. This is our 308 variant right here. Um, on top of it is our new Tango Six One to Six uh, T. This is the new scope of the Big Army. Um, we've done a bunch of uh, options with it. It's going to come with a throw lever on top here, cap turrets on side on top for windage elevation. Then we also have multiple uh, brightness settings that you can choose from. It also has a locking ring, so you find your brightness setting, you can lock it in place, and it won't go, it'll stay at the same size. So if you want to unlock it, flip it out, and then you can make your adjustments that way and go. So this comes with multiple reticle options you can choose from, it's first and second focal plane. Um, one of the cool things as well is we have a, a mounting line right here, so if you're moving, you're changing your mounts on a regular basis, you can have an idea of where it is. You can line your mounts up so you can get everything perfectly straight right away and kind of go from there. So this is really taking off for us. Uh, Big Army's using it for their DMR platform, so everybody in the squad's going to have one. And then uh, SOCOM also has run this on all their, uh, their weapons as well. So nice little feature and uh, functionability with this one. All right, so this is our new Romeo 3 XL. So we just kind of came out with this one. We've made our housing a little bit bigger. We've got a side battery mount that you can bolt into it now and screw in for your 2030 battery. We're getting about 20,000 hours of runtime. Elevation and wind adjustments on the side here. Uh, this is our pick mounted rail, which we've got a locking lug system on there as well, which is kind of slick. Um, mount up any uh, pick rail. You can also make it so you can uh, mill it out and put it on a, a slide if you want to do it that way for a regular pistol. Uh, this is pretty new. We've got multiple brightness settings you can choose from. They're super big, so you can kind of feel it tactile-wise and kind of go that route. Um, and then, if you look down on this MCX right here, we have our Romeo 8T, which is this new one out here. A 38 millimeter objective on the window right there. We've got four different reticle options, uh, eight different brightness settings you can choose from with two night vision modes in there. Goes on to a pick rail. It's powered by a CR123 battery, giving you 100,000 hours of runtime on a medium setting. So, titanium shroud on top of it here, but this is starting to be and going to be one of our big red dots that we have on the market here shortly, so you can kind of play with it that way. Our Julia 3 is right behind it. QD mount, so you can flip this out and choose whatever you want to go with it. Um, this is on our MCX. 
sweet little optic setup right here.